Okay, so this is something I'm really excited about right here. So we got our first look at wave 16 of the 4-inch Sonic figures by Jack Specific. So the first figure is Modern Sonic with the blue gold post. We got Metal Sonic 3.0 with the red ring, Classic Knuckles with a purple Chaos Emerald, and then Heavy King with its staff. Uh, this wave I'm really excited about because, uh, well, first of all, we got my boy Classic Knuckles here uh, in the 4-inch line. I will say this, it's kind of weird getting Classic Knuckles before Classic Tails in the 4-inch line, but uh, maybe Classic Tails would be next. It's just kind of odd that he's before Tails, but hey, I'm, I'm excited, you know, I'm really excited. Uh, I'm always going to be excited for new Knuckles figures, so or Knuckles figures in general, honestly, so this... I, I definitely cannot wait for that figure. Uh, Metal Sonic 3.0, that is really cool. Um, I have a lot of friends that really love Sonic Rivals. I know they're going to be really excited about this one. Um, it's pretty much just a repaint, of course. You can definitely tell. Um, so, you know, if you own the Metal Sonic figure, you're going to know what you're getting into. It's just, you know, a repaint, really. But, I mean, it's still cool, you know. It's cool that we, you know, we got a Metal Sonic 3.0. A figure because I remember uh, when I was like heavy into collecting the Jazz Wars line I remember they were supposed to make that figure and I can't remember what happened I don't know if it got scrapped or they didn't get to it or it got canceled I can't remember I just remember like uh, talking about it like way back when it was first like revealed or so and you know I was upset that it got um, you know scrapped so uh, this is really cool to see um, Especially since like like it's so it's crazy because I remember uh, when when I thought Jazz was gonna make one I I had something planned to add that to like my series uh, my stop motion series um, but you know again I was upset that that didn't happen so it's just so cool to kind of see this um, in action figure form you know now Heavy King I'm also really excited about because um, I mean I'm always gonna be excited for more Eggman robots but also because this Heavy King um, looks really really good. Uh, I don't have any photos. I couldn't really find any photos of you know You know the figure with like the full body shot and the package and I couldn't find any photos I only could find you know how it looks here on the back of the packaging, but uh, it looks really really good I'm excited about this one just because I really love the egg robo figure and you know heavy gunner and I'm excited about this one so this is gonna be nice. It looks like it has like a nice metallic paint to it um, either way, it looks really, really cool. Uh, no pupils again this time. I don't know why they don't uh, do the pupils. Um, and, you know, of course, we got, you know, re-release uh, Sonic figure. You know, so, you know, another Sonic, of course. But overall, I, I do like this wave. I think this is a pretty unique wave, honestly. Uh, I'm, I'm really liking everything about it. So I'm excited about this one. Uh, definitely excited for that 4-inch Classic Knuckles and the Heavy King, without a doubt. But, you know, Metal Sonic 3.0 is still really cool to have. So honestly, yeah, this wave, it's looking pretty solid. I think it's actually pretty solid so far. The only thing that bothers me on the new 4-inch Classic Knuckles figures is that they gave him an open hand, which is weird. I don't know why they didn't stick with the two-fisted hands, like the two-and-a-half-inch figure. Uh, it's kind of like the 4-inch Knuckles figure where he had, you know, the open hand, but then the newer Knuckles figure that came with the, you know, with the Blaze figure in that wave, they gave him two-fisted hand, which I thought was really cool. But this one, he has an open hand now, which is weird. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know why they did that. But that's like my only gripe so far on this figure. I really like how they go back to old games of like characters you wouldn't expect to be made, honestly. Um, I remember when the Sonic Cross Shadow Generation trailer uh, was showing off. Uh, a lot of people were telling me like, uh, man, this could be a, a good chance for Jax to make, a, you know, Black Doom since you know he was revealed we didn't really see like the full black doom we just seen like you know like his eye really um so that would be really cool to see though honestly like i mean they could i mean the black doom's eye could easily just be an accessory like how uh jazz words did it with shadow they could do something uh you know Jax could do something like that or they could just do something where if they do make uh, Black Doom, they could just make like the eye as an accessory too, really. Like they could do something like that. But um, I would love to see a Black Doom figure. I think that would be really cool to see. But this is where I pass it up to you guys. What are your thoughts on this entire wave as a whole? Are you excited about this? However, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. But until then, 
Take care, my friends.